Welcome to another session on IT and Automation Academy's YouTube channel. In this video, you are going to learn what is RS-485. Before we start today's video, I request you, if in the case you haven't subscribed this YouTube channel, to watch more content about PLC, DCS, SCADA and HMI, Industrial Network, consider subscribing and turn your notification on if you don't want to miss any of the future videos from IT and Automation Academy. Before we talk about RS-485, it's important to understand what is RS. RS is a recommended standard. Most of the people think that RS-485 is a protocol. It's not a protocol. It's a recommended standard. In RS-485, this particular standard is made for serial communication this particular standard have a very high speed and it sports long distance as well and it also sports multiple slave devices in the place where you have electrically noisy environment rs485 works very well there rs485 is also known as tia485 or eia485 tia stands for telecommunications industry association and EIA stands for Electronic Industries Alliance. When we talk about what is a recommended connector, I would tell you there is no standard connector for RS-485. Most of the cases I have seen, a DB9 connector is used for RS-485 communication. And in some of the cases, I have seen some of the scenarios where terminal strips were used. RS-485 can connect up to 32 slave devices. RS-485 speed is 10 megabits per second. There is one thing very important to understand here. Basic physics formula applies here. Speed is inversely promotional to RS-485 cables length. One important thing to understand that you will get 100 megabits per second speed at only 6 meters. If your cable length increases more than that, then your speed will decrease. And you are just gonna get 90 kilobits per second at the maximum 1200 distance of RS-485. If your distance goes more than 1200 meters, you can use repeater for that cases for RS-485 communication. All devices on RS-485 network have its own unique address. Let's get into the industrial applications of RS-485. When we talk about the PLC communication to some of the HMIs, in some of the PLC and HMI communication, you will see RS-485 is used. And when we talk about PLC to VFD communication, in some of the cases, you are going to see that PLC communicates with the VFD on RS-485 network as well. When we talk about Bentley system, which is for vibration monitoring, you might see RS-485 there as well. Another example where you can also find RS-485 is C2H4 sensor gas analyzer that also uses RS-485 for its communication. In next video, we are going to explain what is the difference between RS-485 and RS-232. And in coming videos, you will understand how the devices on the two wire RS-485 systems connect with each other and how four wide devices connect with each other on RS-485 network. That's it for today. If you like this video, consider hitting the like button. And if in the case you haven't subscribed this YouTube channel, consider subscribing. Until next video, take care and Allah Hafiz.